Welcome back to Sunless Sea. It's time to move on from Shepherd's Isle and continue doing what I was attempting to do in the last episode, but unfortunately I ran out of time. So we're gonna head over to Aram and the Avid Horizon and continue those two quests, the Citroridden Navigator's Officer's Quest at the Avid Horizon using the strategic information and continue my, my vision quest at Aram. So let's go do that. Let's also take a stop at Khan's Glory along the way because I think I want to purchase some fuel. And also just see if I can do anything related to the spy network here. I don't think I can. Well, maybe I can. I'm not sure. Now that I've done the whole vital intelligence thing, maybe there's something I can do here. We'll see. So let's just head down here and then I'm going to head up to Aestavel, get some supplies, and then up to Aram in the Avid Horizon. Take a stop at Abbey Rock for a port report along the way. Yeah, I can give them my hunting trophies, of which I have a hell of a lot. And I can give them the recent news, but if I remember right, I don't, I'm pretty sure either neither of these things really does anything particularly good. Yeah, this apparently just reduces terror, and I don't remember what this does, but I don't think it was much. So, I'm just going to keep them. Hello. Let's scoop it up. Thank you for the supply. At this point, I'm pretty sure my crew are just eating fungal crackers and just jellyfish goop. Oh, I feel bad for them. Well, then again, I have to eat the same stuff myself, don't I? Well, hmm. I am the captain. I probably have, like, a stash of candy bars or something. Okay, so, yeah, let's see if I can do anything crazy. Establish a spy. Okay, yeah, so now that I have a spy network, I can establish a spy. Hmm. If you're successful, you can tap your network later for intelligence. Yeah, so it looks like you put this down and it's kind of like planting a seed that you can harvest from. 
it sounds like. 45% chance. Hmm. The thing is, if I get caught, I'm pretty sure it's going to raise my suspicion enough to the point where I don't think I'm going to be able to enter the Nefridi Quarter. Yeah, my suspicion has to be no more than 9, and I have 8. So if it increases by 2, I won't be able to trade anymore. And how do you reduce your suspicion? I don't actually know. You might have to go to the other place, and I think you can pay off the tigers or the taman or something like that. Maybe bribe them. Seems kind of risky. This place is pretty good to trade in. But then again, there's almost nothing that, that I can't... Like, there's almost nothing that I can only get here that I can't get at uh, Khan's Shadow. I mean, I think it's mostly just romantic literature and candles that I can't get at Khan's Shadow. And those aren't huge deals, so if I lose the ability to trade for that stuff, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like it's a game ruiner. It would really suck, though. So let's purchase my fuel before I potentially ruin my ability to actually buy it. Yeah, it's also the coffee beans. I don't think you can get that at Con Shadow. Eh, I'm gonna do it. So I don't need supplies. I'm gonna get those at Ace Deville. I do need a bunch of fuel. Let's get up to 20. I want to know where you can sell that stuff. Is there actually any of that in my list? Yeah, I can buy it at Consort, of course. Oh, you can sell it at Port Carnelian for 22. Buy for 19, sell for 22. Three profit margin. Yeah, that's not worth it unless you uh, have a cargo vessel. Nope. Okay, think we're good. Let's, uh, let's potentially ruin my ability to trade. Here we go. And I failed. I lost the network. Gained two menaces, which is just enough to make it so I can't trade. Yay! The white and golds are watchful. Your agent does not return. Have they spent your funds and run? Are they chained upside down somewhere in the Taman stronghold? I'll never know. What I do know is that I can't trade anymore. Wait, what? Wait, can I still do it? Unlocked with menaces. Suspicion 10. You have 10. Wait, what? Why do I feel like they're going to seize my ring? Eh, let's try it. Ah, uh, pursed lips. We regret, my lord, that your name has entered the list of causes for concern. Excuse me. He turns aside to speak to a serious woman in dark glasses. Now is the time to leave. Okay, yeah. Well, balls. In that case, I want to head up to Khan's glory up here to see if I can perhaps bribe them to reduce my suspicion. I probably- oh, hello teleporting ship! Goodbye! Yeah, I want to go up here and see what I need to bribe them. I probably don't have what I need, but I want to know what I need so I can probably buy it later. Unless it's- unless it just takes money. But it's probably an item. Might be a bunch of dark drop coffee beans. Could be some pearls, too. Let's see. This gives you access... no. No, no, no. This will reduce... Oh, plead your case with Taman. This will reduce your... Suspicion. Unlocked with Taman's Mercy. Three, you have three. Okay. Well, I have just enough. Ooh, I can even offer strategic information to the Taman. Of course, I'm not going to do that, because I need that for my officer's quest. Okay, well, let's plead my case with the Taman. Ah, oh, lost three suspicion. Alright, excellent. 
Excellent. Two masked functionaries hear your request. They confer briefly. One of them marks the paper in front of him. They wait for you to leave. What a mysterious process. Just <laughs> made a mark on a piece of paper and that's it. Weird. Well, the fact that it reduced my suspicion by three is actually really good, because it looks like if I fail the establishing a spy network, it increases my suspicion by two. Which, now that I've reduced it by three, that means I should be able to do it one more time, and even if I fail, I think I'll still be able to trade. Right, because I've got ten, and this reduced it to seven, and if I get it back up to nine, I think I can still trade at nine. So, that's really good. Really hope I don't keep failing, though. I'd like to come back with some sort of a, a Veils device in my hold to increase my ability at that. Because my Veils are pretty crap. Yeah, 38. That's pathetic. Okay, anything else to do here? Do, 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 do. Nope. Time to go. Okay, so... Let's go to Nuncio and then Ace Devel. Try to avoid the Kaganian warships, since that will increase my suspicion if I kill them. Which would be very unfortunate, because they try to kill me. So it will increase my suspicion if I defend myself. Which is kind of fucked up. And there it is. Leave my lights off. What are you doing? No, turn around. Balls. From overhead, that just looks like a tiny boink, but like on the ship, like all of the silverware and plates and stuff just fell off the tables. People fell out of their sleeping bunks, bumped their heads, broke their legs. <laughs> For report. Shall I explore? Mm, no, I need that for Ace Devel, that something waits me in port. Look along the beach. Click material, no point, doesn't really do anything. Yeah, we're good. You know, I wonder how well I could navigate if I never looked at my map. I think I could actually do a pretty good job. But I'd feel pretty scared. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if there's like a special mode for this game where it disables the ability to look at the map? You have to like draw your own map and actually like plot the charts yourself. And maybe there's a feature where you can look at the uh, the twinkling under Z stars or whatever they're called on the on the cavern ceiling, and use those to find your way. That would be insanely cool. I don't think I'd do it, but that would be really really cool. Port report. Gather supplies. Eight supplies. Nice. Didn't even lose any sailors. God, I'm really inclined to just hang around here. And just do it again. Nah, it's so boring. 
It's so lucrative, though. It makes business sense. It's just kind of boring. Feels kind of cheap to do that too much. But at the same time, it is a really hard game. And I'm not exactly drowning in resources. So, I wouldn't feel too bad doing it. Need my something awaits me in port. Please come back. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go. Okay, port report. Let's do this again. This time I can take a couple wounds. Continue my vision quest. Okay, let's walk the Waz Woods again. Very good. Oh, god damn. You know, I forgot to put on my my mirrors thing again. I've still got my pages one on. Oh, well. Succeeded. Of course, still gained a wound. Uh, okay, ooh. Looks like my where the wood was quality is now 7, which is what I need to find what I seek. So that should be the end of it. Yeah, here we go. You heard the glory story. In the heart of the wood, there was a ring of bones... Standing in the earth like dry saplings. In the heart of the ring, there was an egg. The size of a coach. The color of a bruise. In the egg, there was a voice. Is that perhaps a judgment's egg, maybe? A long, long life. This is where I began, the egg told you. I broke my first shell. I roamed the Untersee. I feasted on monsters. I battened on whales. I grew city vast. I sickened. The gant pole drew me. And there I died of age and weariness, turning on my back to rot until the hunters found me. The Chelinates have long boasted of how they slew the glory, but they've claimed the details were lost in antiquity. Now you know the truth, that they never slew the glory. They camped in its shell like a hermit crab seeking a new dwelling. <laughs> they never killed it. So it just got sick for some reason. And then it was attracted to the Gant Pole, whatever that is. And there it died. Huh. Okay, well now I can go back to the Chelinate and tell him what happened. I wonder what he's going to do with that information, though. I mean, that's the sort of information the Chelinate probably wouldn't want getting out. They don't want to be known as the place where they just... You know, they... They want to be known as the people who gloriously defeated this ancient, massive monster. Not the people that just, you know, pitched a tent in its shell. Hmm. Okay, anything to buy before I head to... the place I forgot the name of? Mm, nope. Ooh, Avid Horizon, that's the name. I really do want to go back to the Chelinate to deliver that information, but it's really far away. Yeah, that, that is extremely far away. Almost as far away as you can be. It would only be further if I was, like, diagonally across the map from it at Wither. Yeah, I'm not going there right now. Nah, let's go to the Avid Horizon. I keep doing Officer Quest stuff, but it's been a long time since I've actually finished one. It's been a really long time since I've finished an Officer's Quest, so I'm hoping I can actually finish this one. It doesn't doesn't require me to get a bigger boat or something like that. Like the, uh, like the other one does. The one with the tireless mechanic. Oh, 
Let's feast a little bit at the Chapel of Lights. There is a good reason to go down south, though, to the Chelinate. Because once I'm at the Chelinate, I'm reasonably close to Adam's Way, which is where I want to go to continue the Cook's Quest. Because that's where the, the, the Southern Showman probably is. I need his cockatoo. As, I think, as part of the recipe for the cook. Poor cockatoo. It's going to be sad. So yeah, I think I'm going to bundle those two things together. Visiting the Chelinate and going to Adam's Way for that. Get a port report. Eat their bounty. Thank you. Let's hope we don't encounter Mountain Nomad up here. It's actually been a really long time since I've seen Mount Nomad. I wonder where that little guy got off to. I can get another Hunter's Eye? Didn't I already give one to the first curator? Are there multiple Hunter's Eyes frozen in the ice? <laughs> or am I just misremembering? I know I had a Hunter's Eye. I definitely had a Hunter's Eye. Alright, well, let's get a port report first. There we go. Well, forget that for now. Let's do the Citra Ridden Navigator's Quest. Unforgiven. A message is carved into the wood. If you wish to return to London, if you seek the forgiveness of the Empress, if you will sacrifice all to make amends, record your name in crime. Your navigator hunts through the slips of paper. They are a library of villains and villainy. Here are murders, betrayals, treasons, and perjuries. He stops, stares at one, pulls it free. This is mine, he says. I wrote this. It is a confession. Beneath, in more recent and less careful letters, he has added a note. You did not answer. If I cannot be forgiven, then I will forget. The Chapel of Lights will help me, for a price. He laughs wildly. Twice. I paid them twice. Once to take my memories, and once to guide me back to them. His laughter deepens to hysteria. Two crewmen help you drag him back to your ship. Oh my god, poor guy. What What did he do? It never answered. It never forgave him. Is what he did that terrible? I, I don't even know what he did. He doesn't know what he did. All right, I need to talk to him. His forgotten crime. He hands you his confession, retrieved from Void's approach. Please, read. Oh my. What is this? I can read the first page. I can't read the others. All right. Whew, I feel like this might be long. Let's see what's going on here. A square of paper folded into quarters to make a booklet. 
Read the first page. To whom it may concern, I hereby record my full and honest confession in the hopes of absolution in her enduring majesty's service. In May, my brother Richard and I took service on the Bonnie Swan. He as bosun, I as navigator. The captain, Swinburne, was a good man, but ambitious. When we reached King Eater's castle, our supplies were low, but we pressed on in the hopes of finding land. There was none. <laughs> That's true, I've been down there myself. There's no land. Second page. Our stores nearly depleted, we turned back, and here I committed the first of my crimes. I mistook my readings and set a bad course. For days we steamed northwest, not west, into the empty dark. Our supplies ran out, and still no sign of port. Hunger set in, and terror, and what I pray was madness. Ravening, desperate, raving, we agreed to draw lots, with the loser giving up life and flesh so the others could go on. Cannibalism? Jeez. I think there's actually an interesting kind of history of... of, uh... like ship travel and cannibalism. I don't know much about it, but I think there's something about that, like... I, I don't want to say more because I don't know enough to really say anything, but I think there's some interesting history there. Not in the game, but in real life. I'm just thinking. So they're at King Eater's Castle and they went northwest. Where would that put them? That put them towards the center of the Untersea. Towards, like, the Isle of Cats. Hmm. Third page. The first of us to draw the short straw was the captain. The second was my brother. My dear, solemn, solid Richard. There were more after. Seven times we drew. Seven of our number went into the pot, and not a one of them quietly. Those of us who made it back to port swore never to speak of our crime, but one of us, someone with a keener conscience than mine, confessed. I fled the noose to Z again. I regret it all. I will do anything. Please. Jesus. So it's because of his bad course that all that happened. But it was an accident. It's not like he did something evil. He just messed up. It's a hell of a burden to have on your shoulders, though. Fourth page. Here he scribbled his later note, when the Admiralty failed to select him for absolution through service. You did not answer. If I cannot be forgiven, then I will forget. The Chapel of Lights will help me. For a price. His eyes meet yours when you look up from the page. They're as dull as old iron. I'm done, my lord. I'm done. I have one last thing to ask of you. His last request. Parting ways. He buries his face in his hands. Even if I could remember, I would not want to. But it is only a matter of time until this... He runs a finger over his sigil. Takes something I can't do without. Maybe I will forget how to breathe, or which way is north. Perhaps I will strand us all at Z again. And it'll be oaths of silence and straws in the dark. Be rid of me, my lord. Put me ashore somewhere I can be forgotten. I'm gonna lose another one? Okay. I feel sad, like, I feel like if I keep progressing my officer's quests, that I just lose a lot of them. I mean, I guess the only other officer that I've technically lost, I think, is just the doctor guy who I never really cared about in the first place. Because he was just kind of like the starting doctor, and he was pretty crappy. Hmm. But I guess I kind of technically lost Maybe's daughter. 
because she was reborn. She is literally a different person. So I kind of lost her. And I also lost the Acolyte at the, uh, the Station 3 or whatever it was called. She wasn't an officer, but I feel like maybe she could have been. Same with the Devil-S. Let's see. Uh, okay, so it wants me to leave him on Codex, where silence won't be questioned. Or at the Empire of Hands, where no one will care. Hmm. I'd be scared to leave him at the Empire of Hands. I think the Codex would be better. I feel like at the Empire of Hands, they would just, like, steal his soul or something. <laughs> yeah, let's not leave him there. Codex would be okay, but what is this other option? Suggest another option. It would be a release for him, of a sort, and it has a certain sanguine poetry. Oh god, unaccountably peckish three. Wait, you don't mean... A release for him. Unaccountably peckish. That's the sort of stuff you get at Adam's way with the cannibalism. Are you telling me one of his ends can be for other people to eat him? Oh my fucking god. That's horrible. It does have a, cer a certain sanguine poetry, though. It's it's poetic, but fucking hell. <laughs> well, this one's a lot harder to do and more interesting, so whatever this is going to do, it's probably going to result in something really interesting. So I kind of want to do this, but at the same time, I don't want to kill him. But then again... He might be happier if he's dead well I mean if he's dead he can't be anything because he's dead but you know Jesus okay well I'm not gonna do anything with this yet I, I don't know how I actually get unaccountably peckish but I'm just gonna hold on to this for now because I want to do this, if I can. I feel so bad for him. Jesus. Alright, let's see if I can get another Hunter's Eye for some reason. Okay. <laughs> there we go, I have another Hunter's Eye. Can I give it to the Curator again? For more captivating treasures? I can't use it, can I? Nope. Huh? Maybe it's used somewhere else. Okay. Well, that kind of ends like all the big officer's quest stuff that I wanted to do. At this point, like, the major stuff that I want to do, I think, is probably just down at the Chelinate and Adam's Way. And now I want to go down to Adam's Way even stronger, because of the Sigil Ridden Navigator, because I want to see what it takes to get unaccountably peckish. And I believe that was down at Adam's Way, with the whole strange ritual that I kind of participated in, but I think I just watched. See, so yeah, I want to go down there for that. I want to go to the Chilinate to turn in the Glory's Bones quest that I completed. also want to go down to Adam's Way to talk to the Southern Showman to try to get his cockatoo for the cook. But, at the moment, I am up here, and what do I do now? I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do on the way back to London. Hmm. Could stop at Mount Palmerston to get some cheap fuel. Might as well. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, let's take, let's take a stop at Venderbite. Yeah, let's go to Mount Palmerston, get some fuel, and go to Venderbite. I think there might be something I want to do there. Because I know there's a quest that's been at Venderbite for a really long time. The one where I have to transport a bunch of... I don't remember what they're called. Tomb colonists? Yeah, tomb colonists. And that's... Yeah, that's been there for a super long time. I think it replaces like 10 or 12 of your supplies or something like that. Replaces them with tomb colonists, and then you have to transport them to a bunch of different places. I kind of want to do that, just to see what it does.
Ooh. Tyrant Moth. I kind of want to kill you because I'm curious if I can, but it's probably not worth it. I'm such a great person. Like, I want to kill you because I want to see if I can. Such a wonderful attitude. If only everybody in a society had that attitude. It'd be so functional. Such a functional, you know, loving, caring society. You know, some dude in the street just like, nah, I wonder if I'm strong enough to bash this guy's head in with a pipe. Let's see. Ooh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Right in behind him. Slow him down. There we go. Get behind him. This is a very awkward fight. We're just like rubbing up against each other. <sighs> Alright. Two fuel, that's it. God, for something I had 300 hit points. I feel like I should get something more. I mean, given that I'm at Mount Palmerston, that's the equivalent of 18 Echo worth of material. Like, that's just, that's crap. What happens if I go up to the crater? Because the Devil S isn't there anymore. Hmm. Well, let's get a poor report. Oh, the supplies here are actually pretty cheap. I was going to wait until I got to Vendor Bite to actually buy the supplies that I need to do that quest with the, the Tomb Colonists, but I think I should actually buy it here. It's a lot cheaper. Problem is, I really don't remember how many supplies I need, but I think it was 12. I think it was 12. Well. Yeah, let's go back up the road. The Devil-S is gone. What now guards the gate? A vile hive. When you come in sight of the cottage, you think for a moment that it's been overgrown with glistening black ivy. A few more steps, and you notice the ivy is shifting in the wind, before you realize that, as is generally the case in the Neath, there is no wind to speak of. The ivy heaves like the sea, and the closest portion suddenly lifts and dissolves. The air is filled with a deep and savage buzzing. A cloud of great black bees rises above the cottage extends a limb in your direction. You back away. You do not run. Okay. <laughs> Let's not go up there. The bees, not the bees! I kind of want to dig among the ruins for supplies. Oh wait, no, this isn't digging for supplies, this is digging using supplies. Never mind, that's the opposite of what I want to do. Okay, so need fuel. Also gonna buy a bunch of supplies, probably 12. Alright, that should be fine. Fill up the rest with fuel. Okay. Yeah, my hold space is going to be very, very full with all of these tomb colonists, because I believe it replaces the supplies with tomb colonists. 
And I think they're going to have to be delivered all over the Neath. Which means it's probably going to take a while to shake him. But the fact that it's probably going to be such a lengthy quest is what makes me think that it's probably worth it. Because usually the harder it is to do something, you know, the harder it is to end a quest, the better the rewards. At the same time, I also feel like it might be an early game quest. Maybe? I don't know. Suppose we could take a stop at Frostbound. Just for some, uh, port reportage. Frostbound is so shiny. Look at it glisten. Port report. Mm, should I have tea with the squatters? I think they give me a supply or something if I do that. Let's do it. Oh yeah, one supply and one fuel. And lost ten terror. That is really, really good. Okay, poor report. Wait, what is this? Can you do like a special exploration of Vendor Bite when you have the cook with you? Because this is Explore, but it looks like it requires him. Hmm. Well, anyway, before that. So this, yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Replaces 12 supplies with 12 tomb colonists. Okay, so I got the right number of supplies. It was 12. We will need to take to three destinations in the Untersea. Alright, what the heck? Let's do it. Actually, wait. Let's visit the first curator first. Do you want another eye by any chance? No. Okay. There we go, 12 Tomb Colonists, minus 12 Supplies. You're taking a dozen Tomb Colonists on their last tour. First, to the Corsair's Forest. Okay, it's kind of back the way I came, but... It'll be fine. Gators mourn in the Corsair's Forest, first. And two other destinations after that. Bring them all back, and I'll remunerate you lavishly. Or re remunerate. Remun remunerate. That is a weird word. The operator leans in and whispers. Honestly, I don't mind if you bring back a different set entirely. Bandages are very forgiving. But a full dozen, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't even tell one from the other because they're all just mummies.
All right, let's explore with a cook. Lost one dare. Here you are at the vengeance of Jonah again. Your feet or your nose has brought you back. The welcoming yellow glow is like the windows of your own home. The tears of the Z recede a little. Hmm. You know how when I kill the, um, what is it? What is the thing that I kill where there's a, a little option that pops up that is like, cut open the belly of the beast and try to find a Jonah or something like that? But it's always grayed out because I don't have the quest for it. That's got to be related to this shop, right? The Vengeance of Jonah? But there's like nothing I can do here. It's either offer strange catch, which obviously isn't it, or sample today's special, which... Looks like it just reduces terror. I'm gonna try it. Just to see if it gives me a quest or something. Eh, unlucky, lost two terror, 60 echo. Okay. Hm. Okay, so where exactly do they want to go? It's supposed to say somewhere in here, but dear god, how am I gonna find it? Will it be an objective? Okay, that's the first place they want to go, but where's the other places? Hold on, I'm gonna look through here. Well, I thought it said that there was something you could look at that would tell you where all of the stops were, but the only thing I can actually find is just this objective, which just tells you where their next stop is. Corsair's Forest. So, I don't actually know where else they want to stop. Not that it really matters that much, because... The only reason I wanted to know where else they would stop is because I was thinking maybe I could, you know, take some stuff along with me and do some things along the way. But the problem is with them taking up, the, the tomb colonists taking up 12 of my slots in my hold, there's really not enough room to do anything else for the most part. So I think I'm going to have to focus exclusively on this quest and then do other stuff. And I don't think there's any particular reason to go back to London at the moment, so I might as well just head straight to Gator's Morn and start doing the quest right now. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I will end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to take the Tomb Colonists on a bit of a tour of the Untersee.